Hello and welcome to today's Bitcoin price prediction video. And yes, Bitcoin still has not been able to break through its previous lows, but in this video, we are going to talk about one of the most bearish indications we are seeing right now because a bigger player is absorbing the buying pressure and on top of that, we are going to take a look into the stock market which it is showing an insane sound of strength breaking through the level of resistance. But first of all, what we are going to see, Bitcoin yesterday got another slight push towards downside, but we definitely have not taken the liquidity below our previous lows at approximately 20,800 US dollars. It looks like we got a push towards the downside and paying attention to our Bitcoin semi futures chart, we got a push down, fill the gap, and yes, right now we are seeing a slight rotation towards the upside directly into a high term time frame level of resistance. Later in the video, we are going to talk about potential brand new short, maybe even long positions that we can take on Bitcoin, but nevertheless, if we right now pay attention to volume on the one hour time frame, yesterday with this push towards the downside, we got quite high volume increase 106 million of volume kicked in on a push towards downside yes it looks like we didn't really get a lot of bearish pressure because paying attention to the delta right here only approximately 700,000 of bearish pressure kicked in into the bitcoin price but nevertheless volume on this specific candle was definitely very very high but the thing is right now on the 30 minute time frame, we can definitely see we are forming a significant lower high right here. Paying attention on our CVD indicator, a lot of people are buying or longing Bitcoin at the moment. We are forming a massive higher high on the CVD indicator, which is measuring how much buying or selling pressure is coming into the Bitcoin price. We are seeing a lot of buying pressure kicking in right now. Bitcoin still not able to form a higher high right here. We are forming a lower high. What does that mean? bigger player absorbing the buying pressure we are seeing on the Bitcoin price, which is going to be bearish divergence, which is also going to be bearish Bitcoin indication. But the reality is right now, looking at the CVD indicator, yes, it does look bearish. On the other hand, remember, we do have a very high confluence or I would say correlation between the stock market and the Bitcoin price. And the stock market at the moment, looking at the S&P 500, we are breaking through a weekly level of resistance. Also, going with the NASDAQ chart, it looks like we broke through our massive level of resistance and we are moving even higher towards the upside. And it really looks like one hourly, two hourly time frame, we do not have a lot of resistances at this specific area. First resistance level, for example, if we are paying attention to our S&P 500 chart, it looks like it's going to kick in at approximately 4,080 US dollars. That is the reason why if the stock market in the upcoming hours is going to continue pumping towards the upside like crazy, most probably Bitcoin is also going to continue. Maybe we are also going to break through the top of our horizontal range towards the upside. That is why we need to be slightly more cautious, looking to go with a short position, despite seeing a massive bearish divergence on our CVD indicator formed right now. Let me show you at what specific area is Bitcoin trading at the moment, because I would say not a lot of people pay attention to this specific level. We are going to go with our pitchfork. We are going to go from the all time high back to the low right here and back to our lower high. And what you're going to see, it really looks like that at the moment, Bitcoin is trading exactly below the mid level of this giant pitchfork. And it looks like if we go on our one hour time frame, even if we are going to go slightly higher, this mid level of the pitchfork right here is going to be our massive level of resistance. That is, of course, the reason. Yes, we are seeing some bearish indications on our CVD indicator. On the other hand, we are seeing bullish indications on the stock market. But nevertheless, because we are trading at the level of resistance, I would say slightly higher. We do have this massive pitchfork right here. Of course, this is not the area for us to be looking to go with a buy or a long position on the Bitcoin price. But before we talk about a potential head and shoulders pattern, turn on Bitcoin price. If you haven't already, please smash up the like button right now, because the goal for this video would actually be to reach at least 500 likes. And thank you very much if you right now actually smashed the like button. I would just like to show you something very, very important that we could potentially identify on the one hour time frame. In terms of our price action, it looks like we could identify some kind of a left shoulder right here, head right here, and maybe even a right shoulder if we are going to see a rejection towards downside at the area where we are at the moment. Now, it looks like that 
we when we are paying attention to our volume volume here is definitely not really looking valid and i'm going to show you the exact trading idea i do have right now with a bitcoin price because with this push towards the upside we are right now trading at a massive level of resistance which is going to be our fresh daily level twenty one thousand five hundred dollars going with the fibonacci retracement we go from high to low right here it looks like we couple of minutes ago hit the golden fibonacci ratio to the exact dollar accuracy on top of that please acknowledge we are trading at a zone of resistance looking at the price action it really looks like our previous highs were here level of resistance pushed towards downside our previous highs right here pushed towards downside and of course this right here is a very important zone of resistance on bitcoin and if this level is going to hold and we are going to see a rejection towards downside of course it looks like a lot of people are going to start paying attention to this head and shoulders pattern and I'm right now going to show you the ideal scenario I would like to see on Bitcoin. Hopefully, maybe is going to even be confirmed. We right now know that we are at the level of resistance. So if we do see right now a rejection towards downside, a lot of people are going to get bearish looking at this hand shorts pattern. We are going to know we have previous lows for liquidity purposes. That said, grab the liquidity below our previous lows. We know that our stock market is right now showing an insane sign of strength. So maybe then, of course, grab the liquidity, of course, after a rejection at the gold fibonacci ratio bounce at the level of support maybe even the weekly and then of course pump it towards the upside this in my opinion would be ideal scenario i'm right now paying attention to on the bitcoin price now why potentially we could be looking for some kind of a rejection at this specific area because if we go on a lower term time frame of course right here the market structure is bearish we have the high higher low higher high and at the moment it really looks like we got a push down lower low was formed right here and because of that potentially we could be expecting some kind also of a lower high now the moment bitcoin starts breaking through a golden fibonacci ratio and also the daily level of resistance towards the upside in my opinion it is going to be a massive sign of strength and only after we break through the golden pocket and the daily level right here most probably we could be expecting an actual breakout towards the upside for much higher price targets on bitcoin but now before we talk about brand new ascending channel we can identify right now on the bitcoin price if you would like to trade bitcoin and ethereum with us there are insane free bonuses you can be getting right now more than four thousand us dollars for free in trading bonus sign up with this specific link this exchange also offers copy trading so make sure you sign up after initial deposit to get the bonus you can trade with the bonus and of course withdraw the profits to your own wallet all of the free major bonuses are available down below for you for free in the description right now i need to show you brand new ascending channel bitcoin could be forming on the two hourly maybe even one hourly time frame but what we are going to do yesterday of course you most probably know we did form some kind of a higher high here so connecting our higher highs expanding this one slightly lower and it really looks like we can identify a very nice ascending channel with the mid level being respected exactly previously resistance resistance support level right here and also a couple of hours ago we hit the mid level to the exact dollar accuracy so i would definitely say this channel right here as of right now has been respected very very nicely i would say it's only going to be important if we are going to see a bigger push towards downside towards the bottom right here because here we do have then a very nice support level but nevertheless looking right now at this ascending channel it has been respected almost perfectly and of course if we are going to see push towards the upside we are going to have a diagonal level of resistance but of course with this resistance level in my opinion it's not a very strong one as we also said in our yesterday's video simply because we do not really have any massive resistance at this specific area at the diagonal level of resistance so because of that if we actually go higher that said if we are going to start breaking through the daily here in my opinion insane bullish indication and only then i would be expecting a breakout towards the upside now going on the weekly time frame some indicators right here are started being a little bit more bullish MACD indicator for example on the weekly time frame started curving towards the upside of course we still need to wait six days for this curvature towards the upside to be confirmed but nevertheless it is going to be higher low lower low which is simply going to give us bullish divergence on the MACD indicator on top of that we can even go with our RSI let's say and also money flow indicator money flow right now being at the oversold area if we start curving towards the upside also it's going to be bullish divergence and on top of that RSI on the weekly time frame started curving towards the upside so we are seeing right now some indications that if we do see those confirmed bullish divergences it is going to be bullish indication definitely 
on the Bitcoin price. Now, going back with our MACD indicator, it looks like on the four hour time frame, we are forming a higher low, but a lower low on MACD, which is going to be hidden bullish divergence. And on the two hour time frame, exactly the same thing. So I would say that MACD indicator, for example, looking bullish. CVD indicator right here is definitely looking bearish because we are forming a higher high right here. But what can we say? We can change our bias. We can be more bullish on Bitcoin only if we are going to break through this significant daily level of resistance towards the upside. If the daily is not going to be broken towards the upside, that being said, I would simply be potentially expecting push towards downside, grab the liquidity below the lows, and of course, we are then going to play from here if there is going to be a successful liquidity grab. Of course, remember, if we are going to go lower, this right here is an insane support level because of liquidity, also because of our weekly support level right here, and on top of that, going with our brand new weekly Fibonacci pivot points, it really looks like our our brand new weekly pivot is going to be exactly below our previous low right here. So once again, with our trades, I would simply say, if you're looking for shorts at this daily, I would say that it is going to be definitely valid short position, but have a proper risk management, have proper stop loss if you're going to be trading that. Why? Because once again, stock market at the moment looks quite bullish and we are definitely pushing towards the upside very, very impulsively. In terms of the long positions, I would only be looking to go with a potential long position on a successful liquidity grab at approximately $20,500 US dollars if the level is even going to be hit in the upcoming hours right here on the Bitcoin price. And if you haven't already right now, please smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace out.